Today, I'm going to tell you why you need to stop learning new programming languages. Hey, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Just like and subscribe. So I have to start by saying, if you're learning a programming language because you like the pursuit of knowledge, then yeah, go learn that language. But I want to speak directly to the people who say like, hey, I learned Ruby and Java and Node and I still can't get a job. What's the next language I should learn? Well, the next language that you learn shouldn't be a language. It should be a stack. And I'm not playing favorites here. It can be the mean stack. It can be the lamp stack. It can be the .NET framework stack. It doesn't matter. Just learn a stack. Here's why. Most corporate software involves business process. You're basically taking data and putting it in a form, then taking that data from the form and putting it into some kind of process where you do something with that data. Then you take that data and put it in a database. Then you keep that data in the database until you need it again, and you read that data out of the database. So what you need to be able to do is do some front-end work where you can put data into forms and validate that data. You need to do some middleware where you take that data from the form and then you need to do some database work where you can put that data into a database and read it back out again. Now, there's three exceptions to this. The first is C++. There's still plenty of companies that need C++, and they're running native applications where they need a lot of speed to do something. So if you're just into C++, that's fine. Get super into C++ and get really good at it. The second is Swift. If you're really into making apps, you can learn Swift and within a couple of months, a couple of weeks even, start developing apps in Swift for the iPhone. The third is Python, which is probably the most popular programming language in the world right now, but it's not that good for UI development. You can't really do mobile development with it. It's slow. So usually companies are using Python, but they're also using another language to access Python. So Python's a little iffy once you get out of the AI and machine learning space. My preferred stack is the .NET stack. Uh, that doesn't mean it's better or worse than any other stack. It's just what I like. And I mainly like it because in a lot of ways, C Sharp is a trait. It's like learning hairdressing or plumbing or um, carpentry. You know, uh, there's a lot of small to mid-sized companies out there that settled on Microsoft and .NET as a solution. And they need people like you to go in and uh, fix or add on or maintain their current business process software, which is probably written in C Sharp.NET. So my best advice to you is that if you're learning a new programming language, you need to stop that today. See if your knowledge is able to take information from a form, push it across something and put it into a database and then retrieve that again. If you can't do that with your current level of understanding of a language or a framework, learn how to do that first. Now let's go turn that software code into money.